Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm gonna to be giving you my thoughts on the brand new product from Laura Mercier, which is called, Laura Mercier, Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. And this is the Duo, and it's different to the original product. And I'm gonna do a review on the original product because the original product is so iconic, but is a little bit difficult to use for a lot of people. So this is a more user-friendly version. It contains two ends, hmm, double-ended. And on one end you've got a correct, and another end you've got a brighten. So you've got these two different ends on here. And the trick is you conceal with one and you brighten with the other. So basically under eyes for brightening and correcting on the face. So we're gonna use it all over the face really sheerly because I love to use concealers over the face. And then we're going to spot correct and brighten under the eyes. Before we do, I'm just gonna share something with you. I've had the most awful week, I really have. I have had toothache and I went to the dentist and I had a root canal, which isn't that fun at a dentist. And on, and on dentist, it's a different ball game. At a dentist, not so much fun. And this one really hurt and rather than it being rather than it taking away the pain, it caused more pain. So I'm off my tits at the moment on painkillers and awaiting a specialist appointment and it's so painful and I would have it pulled, except it's a visible tooth. So it's not really an option at the moment. So I'm not feeling very good. So I hope you all feel sorry for me. I'm gonna be using 2N and I think that will be a relatively good shade. So I'm gonna use the correct shade first and I'm gonna scribble it on and I'm gonna really, really go about it quite gently in terms of application because unlike the original, this product is much more sheer and much more blendable. So the original is really quite high strength, whereas this product doesn't have that same ultra coverage in terms of sticking point but you can really cover with it, I promise. It can cover a tattoo, but it's much more blendable on the skin. So I'm just gonna kind of dot it, and I'm gonna use my fingers to begin with, and I'm just gonna really kind of lightly just blend it on the skin. And I'm doing this just to create a wash of color, and then I'm going to just spot correct any areas that kind of need it. So it offers a this way, the way that I'm doing it to begin with, you're gonna get quite a sheer coverage, no doubt. Perfect for no makeup days, all that kind of stuff. But it just takes down some of the pinkness in the skin. That makes you look a little bit more, oh my tooth is so painful. Just makes you look a little bit more jolly. Okay, so that's a really light coverage of the product. So now I'm gonna go back in, oh, this mirror. There you go, you can see it now, can't you? Oh no. So I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna start to apply it a little bit more heavy around the areas where I need a little bit more coverage. So a little dot there. I need it just above the eyebrows definitely, around the nose, that little beauty there, that little beauty there, come on, silly. And then I'll go into the concealer in a minute. Now for this time, I'm actually gonna tap and press the product into the skin. Rather than moving it back and forward, I wanna shear this and kind of, not shear it, that's not the word I'm looking for. I wanna create more coverage, so I'm pressing it into the skin rather than kind of moving it around. And when it comes to the little blemishes, I'm just kind of tapping away at the skin. Outside corner discolorations. Gorgeous. Same thing on this side, just lightly tap. I mean, compared to the original product, even though it can really cover, it has so much more blendability to it because the other product, the Secret Camouflage, 
is really quite a industrial strength product. It really is. It's so full on, but I love it. And this is a really good close second. So you're just getting a, it's not a product, bit of dry skin there. Okay, so I'm gonna correct now. So I'm gonna go on to the other side, a uh, Brighton, I'm sorry. And I'm gonna go right in here. So I'm gonna go right into the inner corner and that area here, and I'm gonna tap the product. just to brighten up that inner corner. Because I always think it's so, it's so nice to, to brighten up this inner corner. And if you've got red under eyes, I'm just gonna very lightly tap and just very lightly blend it just underneath the lash line, just a little bit, okay? Just a wee bit. So let's add color to the face and we can kind of see where we're going. I love uh, the sheer the, the sheer of the coverage on someone's skin. I always think the better. So I'm going to set with a little touch of powder. So just a smattering and then we'll add a little bit of face color. I'm going to use my number 11 brush and I'm just going to just very lightly just tap it on, I say very lightly, just tap it on because I didn't use much and then we're going to add a little bit of blusher because I look quite ghastly at the moment without anything else and look how I feel. So I'm going to add a little bit of my blusher and I'm just going to very lightly just bring back some color into the cheeks, into the forehead. So I love a bit of blusher here. You know, why not? Touch on the nose. You know, just, just sort of everywhere really, you know, just kind of just blush your whole face, to be honest with you. I once read a thing that said that women found men with pink skin and pink cheeks to be the most trustworthy. Hope that's the same with ears. <laughs> I mean, it is the ultimate no makeup look, without a doubt. But I really like this product. I think it's a really good product. And to show you the kind of capabilities of it when you use it to its kind of full strength. So there's my tattoo. And if I go over it, and just show you, it covers it up almost completely. And if I was to put a little bit of powder on there, to so just set it, and then do another layer, we would get complete. So it's a really full coverage product if you choose to use it that way. Whether you do or not is entirely up to you. But I'm, I'm really, I'm pleased with this. I actually think it looks really, kind of kind of nice you know a bit more pink in the face because it's trustworthy but I just think it's great it's a nice way of of doing makeup really really subtly I mean granted you may burn through that product really quickly so you're probably better off with the foundation and using that very lightly and using this for the concealer and cover up and camouflage but I think it's just really nice. It's a nice way. And I'm really fond of um, just, I'm gonna just go in again, right here, because I just think it makes you look so awake when this inner corner is just a bit brighter. It's also one of the few areas on the face that doesn't crease and move it's always quite smooth, this area. I just think it's a nice way of doing makeup. What do you think? A bit splendid? A little bit, a little tiny bit delicious? Fraction delicious? 
Oh, my tooth is so painful. I'm really not happy. I've had nothing but trouble with my teeth my entire life when I was younger. And as I got older, the problems from my youth resurfaced and I had the entire top set veneered and it stopped a lot of problems that I had bizarrely enough. But my bottom set are the set that are the most problematic and I want to get the bottom set done but I can't really afford it at the moment. But I'm scared to have anybody touch them because they're so sensitive and it's put me off. So I need to get this sorted. And in the UK, a root canal with an endontist is an incredibly, I don't know what it's like in the States, you can tell me, but it's an incredibly expensive process here. Then you need a crown on it, which is, you know, you're talking another five or six or 700 pounds for the crown. That's not to mention the five, six, seven, eight, sometimes thousand it costs to do the root canal. You know, we're not all, super, super YouTubers who are getting it done for free. Wish I was, <laughs> wish I was. All right, thanks for watching and I will, I'm gonna go and cry now and I'll see you all soon, bye-bye.